In this series, we're going to be building a URL shortener with Laravel. So let's jump in and take a look at how this is going to work. First of all, you can see that I have a database with the following fields. We've got an ID, a URL, a code, and Laravel's created that and updated that fields. We'll be using this table structure to store our URL and codes. So there's nothing in there at the moment. Let's go ahead and shorten the URL and hit shorten and you can see that that's given me a short URL well in this case it's not short but if you were working on a domain this would just be your domain name slash and then this code at the end but for the sake of having to do this within this directory uh, when we go ahead and click on this that's going to take us through to Google and you can obviously copy and paste this to wherever you wanted so inside of the database now if we select everything from this links table you can see that we've got a URL, a code, and we've also got a high number for the auto-incrementing ID. This is optional because we're going to be using base uh, convert to actually generate the code so it's unique. And you'll notice that if I type in the same URL and hit shorten, we get exactly the same value back. So what we're not doing is we're not duplicating content inside of our database table. If a URL has already been shortened, we'll return the same code to the user. So we're not duplicating URL content. So that's the URL shortener that we're going to be building. We're also including things like validation. Uh, if I were to type in something in here that wasn't a URL, uh, we've got front end validation as well with the uh, HTML5 um, input type of URL. But we're also doing your, uh, URL validation on Laravel's side as well with the validator. So we'll learn about that too.